on the O'Connor Hospital post game show. Spartans fall tonight to a hot shooting Bulldogs team, 121 to 81. Now joined by San Jose State head coach Jean Prelo. And, and coach, really, that's the way to describe this game. I, I don't know that I've ever seen a team shoot <laughs> as well, as consistent throughout the course of 40 minutes from beyond the arc than Fresno State did tonight. I mean, you know, hey, you know when you flick on a, a flame, <laughs> There's a blue flame, yeah, there's yeah. yellow, there's orange, and then when something's really, really, really hot, it's like white, yeah, hot. Yeah, yeah. That's what today yeah. was. It was kind of like playing against the Golden State Warriors and the Houston Rockets combined. Mm -hmm. We shot 60% in the first half, and we were down by 19. Y you were the better percentage shooting team in the first half. Yeah. But you're down by 19. Yeah. We played against, uh, again, I think today we played against a team that is ready to play in the NCAA tournament and go deep. If they shoot like that, and they were shooting from NBA range, we even changed up and said, hey, we're not going to help. We're going to stay with guys, and they were still shooting it from – I mean, Braxton Huggins was shooting it from NBA range in our face and still making it. I mean, so and and, and uh, the what the final eight minutes, it seemed comical because they were yeah. just they, they knew they wanted to get records. Yeah, they were just taking shots and off balance them. and making. Yeah. Them. yeah. Then we were like, all right, well, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna try and take away the three. You know, for all those other coach. You know, there's a lot of coaches out there. They're like, oh, you're going twos for threes. All right, well, we tried to take away the three. Guess what? They shot 78% in the second half because they're driving the ball to the basket because no one can help because when you help, they pitch it out for a three, and they're, like I said, white hot. What, what, like what's, hot. what's the conversation like on the bench in a game like this? I mean, I mean, obviously guys are dejected. They're, they're trying different things We're trying. to, to yeah. slow them down, but yes. it's not working. So, no. So what's the conversation well, you have with them? Wh well, at that point in time, you have to be able to match – offense to offense yeah. at that point in time and we're not we were not powerful enough to be able to do that even though we shot a good percentage we can't launch in that many threes from that deep consistently um and and i just told our team this is a learning ex this particular game is a learning experience on where you need to get your game to if you want to compete in this league this isn't even a power five league, right? Right. But we have guards in this league. You have players in this league that are really, really, really good. Yeah. And I have a bunch of new guys. And in June, when I would explain how good our league is, no one understood that. Sure. Now, now I told those guys, I was like, now when I start talking about our league and how good it is, now you have complete reference mm -hmm. on where you need to get your game. Right. How much we need to work in the off season. Now, the season's not over, right? It's a clean slate. I don't know who we're going to play. It's either New Mexico or Air Force. Well, New Mexico and uh, Colorado State both lost, so Air Force is the team. Okay, so we're going to play Air Force, and that's a good matchup for us because they're not very tall or athletic, but they're really good, right? They beat us twice. Um, so it's a new slate. It's 0-0, and we get to go into – um, you know, Vegas, uh, we're flying on Tuesday. We play Wednesday. Uh, now, it's not good momentum because of what just happened, but we are clearing our mind and cleaning the slate, understanding that, hey, we're going to clear it, but understand that that's where we need to be. Sure. So don't let it just go away from your mind. you got to work hard and, to get And there. I know you're talking about the newcomers, which includes yeah. the transfers, but to me, a game like this, I, I always look at the response from the freshmen to see how they're trying to to move out of this game, you know? And, yes. And, and, and I know there were mistakes at times from some of the freshmen. But yes. But how do you connect with them on a game like this, knowing that, hey, the next three years, w we want to see improvement from these guys? There's no question. Uh, well, well, in reference to that, I was saying, hey, we're playing against fifth-year guys. Yeah. And transfers. Guys, transfers that have sat out. So they're older than you. Mm -hmm. Guess what? This is where you need to get to. Sure. That's going to take a lot of work, but you can get there if you put the work in, and, and those guys are fine. Like Seneca, I thought, played great tonight. He had 15 points. He had four rebounds. He had three assists. Now, he had three turnovers, which I wouldn't particularly like, but he, he played well. He showed up and played in a game that's very fast and athletic, so that's good. Um, I love our freshmen. Uh, you know, Anigwe was three for three. Uh, he did a really good job. He had eight points, three rebounds. You know, Mike was one rebound away from getting another double-double. And, uh, you know, I think uh, 
Noah made, hit a record or tied a record? Well, I was just about to ask you that. He, he's tied now with Robert Owens for the yeah. most in a single season. He's got 78 heading into the conference tournament. Right. So hopefully, uh, especially in in Wednesday's game, I'm sure he'll pop in a three. Um, so then he'll get the record. So I think that's good moving forward. And, you know, I, I told him as well, you know, all of our perimeter guys, because Noah's really good at catching and shooting. Everyone knows that, right? It's not a secret. But I was like, guess what, guys? We played against three guys today yeah. on one team that can not only shoot as good as Noah, but they can also put it on the floor and shoot from deeper. So and that's pass on those drives, too. And, yeah. So yeah. I was like, that's where we need to get to, and we can – we got to put the work in. But, again, that's stuff more so for after the season. But I wanted those guys just to understand that, hey, I'm not upset. I just want you guys to understand where we need to get to. Right. We're going to have a clean slate, clear our mind. It's a new season, and we're going into Vegas to try and win our first conference tournament here. Head coach Sean Prelo, thanks for joining us here on the postgame show, Coach. Okay, thanks. Another break in the O'Connor Hospital postgame show. More after this from Fred.